Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm officially coming at you guys with our first preseason Talk with the Hawk video of 2017. And the Seattle Seahawks will be taking on the Los Angeles Chargers in today's matchup, Sunday, August 13th, 2017. And normally the way I like to do these pre-game analysis videos, whether it's the preseason, regular season, or the postseason, is just kind of go over the players who are not expected to play um, because those are obviously the big storylines early on. A uh, little bit of the expectations, what to look out for, and some of the players to look out for. So uh, taking a look right here at the players of Seahawks not expected to play. You got Deshaun Shedd, Jeremy Lane, Lockett, Darbo, Baldwin, Malik McDowell, Deion Jordan, Justin Senior, Marcus Smith, Quentin Jefferson uh, among <clears throat> those players. The ones that I really kind of wanted to see, as I'm sure a lot of Seahawks fans really wanted to see, was Malik McDowell. I mean, he's a first round, he was the first you know, pick that Seattle had in the second round. Um, and he's just not going to be, we don't even know if he's going to play this season, which is extremely disappointing. And, you know, you really would like to see a guy like that play because I think that, you know, he could have dominated on the preseason stage, which would have been fun to watch and kind of given some insight as to how great of a player he could be. Because potential wise, in terms of talent, a lot of guys, you know, knocked him early or kind of, you know, anointed him early as one of the better defensive linemen uh, of this year's last draft. So, um, it's just, or of this last draft that we just had, and it's just extremely frustrating, obviously. And Deion Jordan would have been interesting to watch as well. I guess he's dealing with some injury issues. I am really excited to watch Akil Griffin play. That's a player I would definitely watch out for, rookie um, cornerback that Seattle has really been high on, to be honest with you, uh, out of UCF. And, you know, really excited about watching him play. Um, Eddie Lacy is another guy I'm really excited about watching. I know he's not going to get a lot of minutes, uh, as will you know Rawls and Prosize. Probably won't get a crazy amount of snaps or a lot of touches on the football. You know they don't want you know football is really physical sport. You don't want these guys getting hurt. Um, so I would you know wouldn't expect them to get too many touches. But Chris Carson is another big guy that people have been talking about. Um, also. Collins, not too excited about because I've seen him play already, and I, I've heard Chris Carson just done some great things, so I'm really excited about Carson and Shaquille Griffin as the two main guys, both rookies, both newcomers to the team. Uh, Bradley McDougal probably will get some time, which would be solid as well. Um, so I would have definitely just watch out for those guys if I were a Seahawks fan outside of obviously myself. Um, it's going to be interesting, though, playing against the Chargers. Again, I feel like we have the same schedule year in, year out, uh, whether it's like the Raiders, the Chargers, the Broncos, the Chiefs, the AFC uh, West as a whole. Um, but I'm still really pumped for just to, just to watch this game. And in all honesty, it's been seven months since we've seen our Seattle Seahawks on the national stage. And this is just preseason, but, uh, it's going to be nationally televised on NFL network, which is going to be extremely exciting. Can't wait to watch it as by the time you're getting this, the game will most likely have already started. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to put this video out there for you guys, a pregame analysis video of the Seattle Seahawks, uh, 2017 debut for playing games in the preseason against the LA Chargers week one in LA um, and again all these players that are injured hopefully I think most of these guys should be uh, back I don't know about all I think the starters should all be back by the time the season actually begins because that's you know four, four weeks away roughly so I think most of those guys should be back um, especially guys like Baldwin Lock they, it's a lot of precautionary things so I wouldn't get too worried about it um, you know some of these guys are just banged up they uh, sustained a minor foot strain in, in practice Thursday and unfortunate that Darbo is not going to play. You want to see as many rookies play as possible. But again, Lacey's an excited, exciting one. I want to see uh, Trevon Boykin throughout the years has done decent. Last year he had some good. He had a good run in there. So want him to get his confidence back. The backup quarterback position is always kind of um, a, something of a concern for Seattle. Um, just because Russell Wilson, you know, if he goes down, you don't really know if they have a capable guy behind him. And uh, you know, fortunately. Wilson's never missed like a full game, so that's just incredible. Um, at least last year, especially because the injuries that he sustained was just kind of incredible. How he continued to play in the early buy that of helping out Seattle and ended up, you know, obviously eventually helping them get that 10 win season they had last year. Um, but yeah, definitely excited for this game. But that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Talk of the Hog videos. I do, again, Talk of the Hog videos for every preseason, regular season, or postseason game. So watch out for both the pregame and postgame analysis. Postgame analysis will be coming, obviously, as soon as this game has hit the conclusion. So that is extremely exciting. So once again, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. And yep, thanks for watching.